bottom of our lakes and rivers, a silent predator waits for the right time to strike. Terrifying video of an alligator moving in for the kill. He's about to attack an unsuspecting gator killed a woman near Tampa. That Fox 35 exclusive, a nine foot alligator chops down on a woman's head while she's snorkeling. Where authorities are investigating a death involving a large alligator. That's JC Laverde swimming. And on the right, that's a 12 foot alligator charging right at him. For Florida, gators can show up anywhere and at mm. any time. <laughs> Alligators cause eight unprovoked fatal bites yearly in the state of Florida. Are they something to be legitimately feared of? Are they an actual threat? Or just a force not to be reckoned with? Or maybe both? In the world of American alligators, uh, even with crocodiles as well, there is definitely a hierarchy. There's a pecking order with alligators. So, you know, you're gonna have one, a male who's in his territory. In that territory, he lets in a certain amount of females year after year. You know, sometimes there might be some younger males that come in to try and take over. So there's definitely a, an order to socialization with these alligators. So you're gonna have your big male, he's your top dog, he has his females, and then there's some younger males that might come in years later to try and take over. Major key differences between juvenile and adult alligators. So juveniles, you know, when they're, when they're babies, they're born, they're six inches long. It takes about five or six years for them to become what would be considered adults as alligators. So they grow a foot a year for the first six or seven years and then slow down. Juveniles are gonna do is they're going to kind of hide and stay away from as best as possible from adult alligators because the bigger ones eat the smaller ones. That's a part of their life. Definitely, you know, some social order for juveniles as well. They're establishing themselves. They're trying to figure out how to be a good alligator out there in the wild. Adults eat the big ones. That's part of their life. Even moms will eat their own babies. Babies only stay with their mom for about a year and then they're kicked out of the house. They're on their own. If they stick around, mom is gonna eat them because she's got new babies coming. As they grow up and get bigger, they're learning how to more efficiently hunt, you know, navigate their waterways and their life and where eventually they might establish their home. The adult male American alligators can grow up to 13 to 15 feet in length, while females are genuinely smaller, with an average length of about 10 feet. Alligators have armored bodies with tough, bony plates called osterderms embedded in their skin, providing a tough layer of protection. Alligators are carnivorous and feed on a diet that includes fish, amphibians, reptiles. They are opportunistic hunters and often lie in wait for prey to approach. Alligators have a powerful bite thanks to their strong jaw muscles. However, the muscles that open their jaws are relatively weak. Therefore, an adult alligator's mouth can be held shut with moderate pressure. Alligators are prolific swimmers and have a streamlined body, a powerful tail, and webbed feet that make them well adapted to aquatic environments, making them deadly in the water. The way that alligators react to humans, whether it be in the wild or human care, a wild alligator is gonna shy away from humans. Unless they've been fed by people, they've been around people, they're typically gonna stay away. Now in the state of Florida, they estimate about a million and a half to two million alligators. So pretty much every waterway, fresh water that is, has one, there will be an alligator in it or there has been an alligator in it. Once you hand feed a wild alligator, they associate food with humans and they come closer. So kids, feed them in their neighborhood pond, adults, whoever it might be. And then one day when somebody doesn't have food, that's when we have the problems. Whereas in human care, these alligators, more specifically here at Gatorland, we feed our alligators on a daily basis. So they get used to us, which could potentially make them a little bit more dangerous than a wild alligator, just because they're not afraid of us. They don't have that fear of humans, they've lost it. But as experts and working with them, we know how close we can get, what we can do around them and we don't get our get we don't put our guests in any danger uh you know close proximity in, in that fact you know to put them in any danger so some common misconceptions about alligators and their behavior especially here in florida is everybody thinks that alligators are are just going rampant and they're the most dangerous thing in the state of florida well yeah sure they are an apex predator and they can be very very dangerous um but honestly there's a million and a half to two million alligators in the state of florida almost half that population is down in the everglades down in south florida but they're not going rampant so a female alligator is going to build her nest she lays about 35 to 40 
40 eggs average in that nest. Typically, only two or three of those in the wild survive to become an adult alligator. If every single one survived, we'd be looking at 17 million alligators in the state of Florida. So sure, at that point, if that were true, we'd have alligators going crazy all over the place, but that's not what happens. They get taken by predators. These guys are very defensive. So you mess with them, they're gonna mess back. They don't wanna be messed with. They don't wanna be around humans. They don't wanna be close to us. They they wanna stay, stay away and they wanna live their life. Another misconception about them um, is, you know, how big they can get. You know, a lot of people think they get gigantic. They can, but back in the day, dinosaur time, they used to be a lot bigger. They've gotten smaller. Biggest alligator on records, 19 feet, two inches. Another thing, misconception about them. How do you get away from an alligator that's attacking you? Everybody says run zigzag. And I want you to try running zigzag. You're going to trip and fall and the gator's going to laugh at you. It's not true at all. Alligators are very quick. They can turn on a dime. Even adults going their top speed can turn around and bite their own tail. So running zigzag is not true. Made up a long time ago by somebody who wanted to see their friends get eaten by an alligator. You run straight but they don't see us as food. Again, we're way too big for them. Alligators like to eat small things. They can run about seven to nine miles an hour. Thing is when they decide to move, they don't push on that gas pedal and accelerate to nine miles an hour. They start at nine miles an hour when they go, but it's within that first 10 feet. Another thing, a lot of people all the time you hear about alligators and the types of attacks that we have here in the state of Florida, most of those are on pets. So your dogs, all right? You're walking your dog around the body of water. Stay at least 20, 25 feet away from that water's edge. Alligators are gonna see your dogs, your cats, whatever pet you might have as an easy meal. You know, especially small white dogs, they seem as fluffy marshmallows on a rope, all right? For whatever reason, gators love marshmallows, have no idea why, but they do. So they see it as an easy meal. So stay away, be well aware of your surroundings. Um, so those are definitely some of the misconceptions about alligator, but definitely, I mean, these guys are prehistoric animals. They've been around for a long time. We want them to be here for a long time more, and they're just really, really awesome to take a look at, and this is what Florida's about, you think about alligators.